god, this is nostalgic. Hello, hello, uh, welcome to Mario Kart Super Circuit. This is not going to be a series or anything like that. Uh, instead, uh, I thought of making one-off videos, uh, basically of uh, me going through certain games that I wanted to, you know, either try out or revisit or something like that. Um, but stuff like this, obviously, isn't very suitable for a series, per se, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, this game is very, very nostalgic to me. I've been feeling like I wanted to play a lot of GBA stuff. Uh, in fact, yeah, I, I think that's basically because I got into all the Fire Emblems from from the the generation uh, that you know of the of the Game Boy Advance, I should say. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop into what 100 CC, I guess. And I, yeah, I'm gonna go with my boy Toad because he's my favorite of this roster. <laughs> I guess we'll just go through the cups, and a lot of these one-off videos that I'm going to be doing, um, I thought it was a good idea because a friend of mine actually started doing a YouTube commentary in that regard, and uh, has been doing more one-off type of content. Um, oh, this is feels really weird without um, the what is it called? Like on the, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, Oh, the button mapping and the layouts are, are really bad for this, I just realized. I might have to remap it, actually, now that I think about it. Um, although I might get used to it. I'm not sure. Um, I used to play this all the time, and so I'm relatively decent at this on an actual console, but yeah, on the keyboard, my god. <laughs> and I don't have a GameCube player anymore, so I can't play, uh, you know, Game Boy games on the cartridge, you get what I mean? Anyways, back to what I was saying, this is off to a horrible start, hopefully you somewhat enjoy it. Um, a friend of mine started doing, uh, like, one-off, uh, commentary content, um, instead of, like, serialized stuff, and I thought that could be a, a nice idea to, um, you know, because if I make too much just Fire Emblem or, or whatever it is, one certain series, then maybe people that are interested in my stuff aren't particularly interested in Fire Emblem, and that was an awful turn there. Um, and they may not uh, be interested in watching me, you know, keep playing the same thing over and over. So I thought, okay, fair enough, I might uh, use this as a chance to revisit games like I'm doing right now. I used to love this game, like I said. Um, and also maybe check out a few games that I am somewhat interested in, I guess. Uh, for the time being, I think I'm going to be exploring a lot of Game Boy Advance stuff because it's super easy to record for one, but also because I am in that mood and I'm very nostalgic um, feeling towards it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be. Uh, when we do these kind of one-off videos, I was thinking maybe 45 minutes is a, is a good place. Because uh, a lot of these games that are maybe like fighting games or something like that um, aren't great. If they're, well like, you wouldn't really want to watch that for an hour long, right? Because it's not really story-based or anything like that. Um, on the other hand though, uh, you know, something that's like 20 minutes feels a little bit short as well. So I thought maybe 45 might be a good uh, middle ground. Uh, crazy that I got a red shell in the- oh, I did not say that. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, in fact, I think it was the first time in my 10 years of creating online content, because, I mean, you guys can tell that this is a new channel, but I've been doing this for a while. Um, within that 10 years, this is the first time I've commentated over Mario Kart. Okay, that was close. <laughs> the crabs. I, I love- I love the 3D depth of this- of this stage in particular. As you can see, the, um... Shy Guy boat in the background and all that. I couldn't get that. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Again, the controls are really messy. Because <laughs> I'm doing- I have to hold down uh, the Z key for the accelerate. Um, and all that. And before you uh, anti- oh. Before you anti-emulation people come at me, I have this cartridge and I've played so much of this game, so... <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, that was a close one. Um, and I believe this course in particular, Shy Guy Beach, was remade in the Wii version, I think it was. Um, yeah, so, you know, a lot of the time they do remake a lot of these courses. It was nice to see, um, what is it, Peach Circuit or whatever? The one we just played before this get remade in Mario Kart 8, I believe? With all the gravity, uh, power-ups and all that. Speaking of Mario Kart, I have been wanting to take a look at the... Uh, you know, take a look as in I wanted to uh, try out the DLC courses that they've released for 8. I still haven't been uh, around to, you know, get around to do that. 
Um, but there, yeah, it's, I remember it being relatively cheap, it's like, what, $24 or something for like 48 maps or something ridiculous like that? I think they're still releasing them, so there's not all 48 or whatever, but, um, still. I'm gonna use that real quick. The ghost, the ghost is not that good, I feel. <laughs> um, to be fair, I do think this is actually my first Tomorrow Kart, uh, I ever played, now that I think about it, yeah. How, uh, sentimental. And, uh... It is a little bit, I, I I will admit, I do feel like this one's overlooked a lot of the time because it is. it does feel a little junk to play, but once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad um, because I certainly got used to it. You want me to add one more little episode, one more little story of mine to this? Um, so I had this game, uh, I have, okay, so right now I have the Japanese version as a cartridge because I wanted to revisit it um, and all that. Now, originally, I had, because back in Australia, in the early 2000s, there were so many, like, oh my god, that was close, but the green shells somehow saved me there. Um, back in Australia in the early 2000s, they would have a lot of, like, markets and stuff, and they would have bootleg Game Boy Advance cartridges. A lot of the time from, like, Asian countries and stuff, not throwing shade or anything, that's just how it was. Um, and that's where I got Mario Kart, uh, Super Circuit, of course, this game. Um, or like my, you know, my parents found it and say, like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's good enough, we'll, we'll give that over. And then, so I had that, but the issue was, because it was a bootleg, it didn't save any progress whatsoever. I think a lot of the time with uh, Game Boy Advance games, they need uh, a sort of, like, memory chip of sorts or something like that. Um, because unlike modern consoles, it's, the save data saves to the actual cartridge. Um, so, yeah, I think that was like the main reason. And because of that, I've played this first track, or this first course, these four different tracks, I've played them so many times. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I would play these ones originally. And because of this, I haven't actually played a lot of the uh, unlockable tracks as much, because I was never able to unlock them in one sitting. Um, and I had a very, very strict um, video game rule uh, when I was growing up, when I was younger, when I was like in elementary school and stuff. I was only allowed to play like 15 minutes a day. That was like my, my thing uh, that my mom implemented, I guess. And so because of that, there's no way you can finish this whole game within 15 minutes, right? I mean, you could probably try if you're a super good speedrunner or something, but other than that, it's not going to happen. Uh, and because of that, I was never really able to play like the Rainbow Roads and all that, and I, that was terrible, I, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's basically what happened. And, okay, never mind, I guess that, okay, I don't even understand what's happening. <laughs> okay. Wait, we are able to recoup. Um, th this is harder than it looks to commentate this. How did I get a star at second place? That is crazy. Um... You're wondering what my favorite- oh, okay, that was not the right timing, uh, but we still got the first, there we go. That's it for, uh, what is it, track one, whatever it's called, I don't know. Uh, cup one? <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna play, I wanna play until I feel like not playing. <laughs> if that makes sense, it's gonna be awfully junk, but which content of mine isn't awfully junk, do you get what I mean? Um, yes, so... Basically, that's right, yeah, I only had 15 minutes I was able to play, and I was able you know, the only exception to that rule was if I had a friend over, or if I went to a friend's house, then it was just free-for-all, you know, I could play for as long as I wanted to. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, okay, B rank, not bad. I'm not a huge fan of the coin system in this game, um, I don't know if anyone is, but, you know, it's, it's fine, I guess. Uh, oh, this isn't the one where you can put your initials in, okay, it's a funny story. Uh, I think it's a GameCube version. Double Dash? Yeah. Whenever I... When, <laughs> whenever I finished a, a cup, uh, or whatever, in Double Dash, you put the three initials in, and I would always, without hesitation, make my initials ASS to spell ass, and I thought it was the funniest thing when I was like 11. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought I was gonna do that again, relive memories, but, uh, no, we can't do that here. Alright, let's do Flower Cup. Let's get into it. So... Yeah, I've never actually made Mario Kart content before. It's one of my relaxation games, this series. I know uh, a lot of people do get fired up over this series quite a bit. I missed the start dash there. Again, I am kind of playing on a janky keyboard, so, you know, that's kind of my uh, handicap here. But uh, I, I feel like I could... If I can, you know, come first in the in the first cup, I, I feel like I'll be alright. Although some of these courses coming up can be a bit tricky. Um, 
I mean, I probably could map a controller or something, but uh, it's, it's too much work. Oh, I need a coin. I need a coin or else I'm gonna spin around. Oh, I missed that. That's okay, we can get these ones. Um, oh, and I'm gonna do the little... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Get that, get that little boost. Okay. I'm not doing as good as I uh, was doing with the previous ones. Um, but again, my brain is going at 2,000 miles a second because uh, i got to play this and commentate. I never thought Mario Kart would be this intense, but there you go. Um, and basically, yeah, I was saying that this is one of my relaxation games. Not Super Circuit in um, particular, but just Mario Kart in general. Um, I would have these things uh, where I would go to my best friend's house. Um, you know, even like in my late teens and stuff. And we would just play Mario Kart Wii and just talk about life. <laughs> and it, those were some of the most deepest, like, I don't, I don't even know if, like, hmm. It's not, like, confronting stuff, it's just, like, life stuff. Just, like, how's everything going, like, so-and-so-and-so, -and -so, whatever, right? Um, but yeah, those are some of the most relaxed, relaxing, sorry, memories I've had with video games in my life. Um, and yeah. So because of that, I think Mario Kart Wii is my favourite, because of that sentimental value. Um, but Super Circuit is, mm, would I put it top three? Maybe I'll put it top three. Top three in terms of nostalgia, for sure. Uh, I don't know about top three in terms of quality, though. Because a lot of them are really good. Um, I like DS a lot as well. I played DS quite a bit. Uh, even now, sometimes, I, I don't know why I jumped three times there. I missed that uh, booster. I used to hate this stage as a kid. Because you could fall off uh, so easily from the sides. Um, actually, I just remembered, I lied just then about the origins of me having this game now that I think about it. Um, okay, you can go through this part, which is kind of risky. It's fine, we're good. Um, but no, I lied about the origins of me having this game now that I think about it. My parents didn't buy this, I found this game, I just realized. I was at a playground or something, and I found a... <laughs> it's pretty fitting with the um, the music here, isn't it? It sounds like the start of a creepypasta or something, but no. Um, no, I found this uh, cartridge. It was the Mario Kart Super Circuit bootleg cartridge. And I took it home with me, and that's how I started playing, now that I remember. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna do this again. Oh, it's probably a bad idea. Oh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> um... But yeah, let me know down below what your favourite Mario Kart is. Will I be covering, covering more of these games in the future? Perhaps? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Because um, again, I do, I do have the, the capability to record more or less anything if it's uh, like TV, console stuff. Home console stuff, I should say. Um, but I can't record DS or 3DS anymore. Uh, whoa, I missed that, I missed that, I missed that. And it's final up, up as well, this isn't gonna be good. And you have a star? Yeah, the game balance of this game is a little weird. I'm not, I pressed the wrong button, that was close. I'm just gonna skedaddle over this way. Alright, red shell, that's good for a final lap. Um, but I can't believe I'm on, I've only recorded 13 minutes so far. <laughs> this is uh, a lot more intense on the, on the brain than I thought. But there you go, good stuff. Okay. The graphics are like oddly charming in this game though, aren't they? Because it's pretty crazy, because all the, the cards, they're not 3D models. They just have sprites of every single angle, which is ridiculously tedious, I would have imagined. Um, so good on them, it's, it's really cool. Uh, oh, I don't like Cheeseland. <laughs> this is one of the stages that I try to forget about. Um, there's a bunch of, like, stage... I feel like in every Mario Kart game, there's, like, the stages that I love to bits, and then there's others where I'm like, I, I would never want to play this again. <laughs> And Cheeseland just happens to be one of them. Oh, oh, did I miss that? Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. I forgot that the booster uh, makes you jump higher if you use uh, a mushroom. Okay, get Yoshi out the way. Okay, so what is the deal with people's obsession with Yoshi? I never understood that. Like, what is up with that? Is it just because, like, kids like dinosaurs? Is that kind of, like, the thing, or...? Because I feel like everyone loves Yoshi, and yet I wasn't into Yoshi. Like, I never... I never had a... Fa oh, I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. Shouldn't use that. Again, uh, this wouldn't happen on a real console, but that's okay. Um, I usually do play 100cc, that's like my comfort speed. Uh, 150 if I'm feeling a little daring, but again, I, I had this keyboard situation to deal with, so I was like, eh, whatever. Um, but no, what is the deal with Yoshi? That's one thing- oh, blue shell, okay. I bet some of you didn't know the, the blue shell existed in this game, because you don't see it very often. Um, but it does exist, yeah. And I think it's just unblockable, 
And I fucked myself that, that's okay. Um, anyway. What I was saying was, um, what was I saying? Yeah, the deal with Yoshi, that's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Everyone really seems to like him a lot, but I never really got the deal. I'm gonna get Mario out the way. You're not the protagonist here. I am. <laughs> right, send that back for good measure. There we go. Good stuff. I'm doing alright, actually. <laughs> kind of surprised. Kind of impressed with myself. There you have it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be taking recs, as in, like, recommendations for these one-off videos. I want to do maybe, like, one a week, um, because, again, we finished up, uh, there isn't any fan dang and romper content to do at the moment, so, uh, they, they can, I feel like those can alternate, uh, if there's no fan dang and romper stuff, then I can just hop into, you know, a game like this and just have a bit of fun, switch it up a bit, you know. Uh, obviously Angels of Death still happening once a week, uh, Fire Emblem's happening, what, five times a week or something? Something ridiculous like that, so... If you are here because you are watching Mario Kart GBA, then, uh, just advertising my channel there a little bit. Um, there is a lot of Fire Emblem content, so if you're into that, then, uh, please check that one out. I didn't mean to send it forwards, so that's okay. And, oh my, Peach! Peach, calm down. I mean, I understand how rough Peach is with Toad in Smash Brothers, just using him like a shield. Um, but come on. Oh, three red shells, I'll take that. You know one thing- oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I still have my items, fantastic. See, this is some of the junk I enjoy about this, uh, you know, these early Mario Karts, is like, some of this stuff just isn't balanced, and it's so funny. Um, but what I was saying was, uh, with- oh, I actually got her, and she fell into the, the uh, magma there, that's good. Um, what I was saying was, what am I thinking? I don't know, there's a star man coming? Oh no, oh no. Oh, it's, it's Mario? Okay. <sighs> I forgot what I was saying, I don't know. What is my favourite track in this, uh, game? You ask, the one Mario Kart Super Circuit fan in the comment, uh, comment section below. Um, it's actually a good question. I think I like the snow one at the start of the fourth cup, I think. Um, oh shit. Oh, I might not get fast in this. Yeah, no, I'm not getting... Even... Even, even if... Yeah... Ooh... No, oh, a second, okay. The Peach came in fast. Yeah, okay. That was a close one. That was fun, though. It's not about the results, it's about the uh, enjoyment, of course, as I like to say. I'm definitely one of the most calm Mario Kart players, you will say. The only reason why I'm a little bit panicky right now is because I'm recording at the same time. <laughs> but if you see me play Mario Kart with my friends, I am very chill. Even though some of them get very fired up, but uh, that's okay. Mario looks kind of jank there. I? Oh, there we go. He looks a bit better now. Alright, congratulations, of course. I think... I might be wrong... But I think the Japanese version doesn't have the S at the end of congratulations. I don't know if it was this game or if it was Mario Kart 64. It was one of them that doesn't have the S there. And I guess when they localize it, they're like, oh, that doesn't make sense, let's change that up. Um, if you if you notice as well, there's actually, uh, they all have different stats, which is kind of unique for Mario Kart. Um, I've never used the heavy hitters. I've, I mean, I've used Mario and stuff before, but yeah, like, Toad's just the go-to. <laughs> How can you go wrong with Toad, you know? That's all, I'm, that's all I say. Um, and it's before he's, like, super squeaky voice as well, so I kind of prefer this voice actor of Toad, to be fair. Uh, I mean, just personally. Oh, I don't like this stage. <laughs> this is the one with all the slippery stuff going on. Alright, well, let's do it. Um, okay. Again, the- I- You- 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 sorry, you seriously should see how my fingers are resting on my keyboard right now, because I have to press four buttons that are mashed up each- uh, next to each other. Like the jump and the- the item button, and... Oh, is it, is it, oh, I see, it's because I was pressing jump, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, yeah, it's pretty junk, but... Yeah. My least favorite track of this game, though, I wonder what that would be. I mean, I really do dislike Cheeseland. Uh, everything about it, I... Ooh, okay, that was close. Just jump over the puddles there. Again, I'm not doing too horribly, which I'm vaguely surprised about, to be fair. And the drifts in this game are a little strange. You gotta go one way and then go back the other. There we go. I'm surprised I actually pulled that off. Um, so, again, like, as you might be able to tell, yeah, I've gotten somewhat of practice with this game, because I just played it so much as a kid. Um, even now, uh, I sometimes pull out my Game Boy Advance and play this, I'm gonna use it now. Oh, that was bad, I think, maybe. I don't know. No, we're good. 
The peach is uh, kind of fast this time around. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, what am I doing? What am I doing? Get back on track. Um, oh, yes, right, sorry. I was I massively derailed, but basically I was saying that I don't think I'll be taking recommendations. I mean, feel free to write them down. Ah, um, oh, shit, what am I doing? Feel free to write down any recommendations. Uh, of especially Game Boy Advance stuff, if you want me to check it out. Um, but I can't promise you anything, because I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, not everything, it's, with video games especially, not everything uh, interests me. So, I know that, you know, this is, okay, this is the biggest uh, example I can give to you right now. Zelda, what is it even called? Um, what's it called again? <laughs> the new one? You, you know what I'm talking about. There's the new Zelda Legend of Zelda game out. Uh, and everyone was raving on about it. I had zero interest, and I've seen some clips of it, and I'm not good, like, objectively, that looks like a, an amazing game, right? But I'm just not interested in that genre whatsoever. Um, I'm not really into the whole uh, free roaming kind of thing. Like, I'm really not... I've never been into, like, adventure games. Like, I've never been into Ratchet and Clank or any... I was not... Sorry, I was looking at my keyboard placement for a second. That was terrible. Um... <laughs> And we need some coins. We can we can recruit, I think, maybe. Um, but, uh, yeah, what I was saying was, uh, well, I was dissing Zelda and then this happened, so maybe there's a correlation there. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm not into, like, action-adventure games like Spyro or Ratchet and Clank or any of those. And I feel like, in my mind at least, Zelda kind of falls into that category of run around and jump around and collect things and whatnot. And, I've never been interested in that genre at all. Um, I, you know, I like more strategical stuff, I guess, in a way, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, even though I'm not particularly intelligent, but, you know, it's it's good to, you know, think it through and, and choose when to do certain stuff and whatnot. Um, and hopefully these one-off videos can... Maybe you guys can learn a little bit more about myself, because I can talk about specific episodes about specific games, you know, or maybe specific genres or whatnot. Like me mentioning that I found a copy of Mario Kart Super Circuit on a playground. Um, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So hopefully you can get somewhat of an enjoyment out of this. And um, I think this will also be a really good way to for me to not get burnt out. Uh, because if I keep doing the same thing, then, you know, I'm not someone that's prone to get getting burnt out really easily. Uh, I'm pretty consistent with stuff. Okay, I got my banana, good stuff. Um, but, uh, just in case, you know, it's it's always good to good to be uh, safe than sorry, as they say. There we go, good stuff. I do like how short the, the Game Boy Advance tracks are, for sure. Not, not like the tracks as in the OSTs, like the, uh, the race tracks, I mean. Of course. But yeah, basically, uh, I'm thinking of Game Boy Advance stuff. Um, there's gonna be uh, something happening, let's just put it that way, relatively shortly. Um, not within this video, but I mean like, at some point. Oh, this is another track I don't really like that much. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be something uh, coming on the channel soon. So I don't know when that's gonna be and what days that's gonna occupy. So I can't really say definitively when I am going. Okay, when I'm going to be doing uh, this sort of content. But I would like to branch out, and this was the main reason why I agreed to do this, or why I thought this was a good idea. And okay, we're good. Um, and so because of that, I will. Excuse me, I probably cut that out. I have to clear my throat. Um, but I will say that. Uh, okay, no, messed that up. You can actually move forward, do you know that? In the water? Yeah. Only ever so slightly, but it does slightly make it quicker to uh, get back on land. Um, but I will try and do it at least once a week. I'm doing horribly on this course. Um, it's also a shame with these kind of fast-paced games that I can't really cut out too much. Where, where did that come from? Um, I can't actually cut out too much because, you know, it'll lag. Uh, okay, crab. Uh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, that is one thing about these crappy graphics, in a sense, where it's like, because it's so pixely, sometimes just something comes out of nowhere and it's like, oh, <laughs> I see. Where do you get the star? Is that something I want right now? Probably should have waited a bit. Get out of here, Yoshi. I'm annoyed that you're so popular. Okay, now we're good. Ah, oh, no, not the crabs again. I guess that was Yoshi's vengeance, right? Um, but yeah, no, once a week sounds uh, just about the right amount. Because uh, again, I don't know how much... Oh, I don't know how well these are going to perform, and not to mention um, that these uh, are going to be very... Oh no, oh, okay. 
Uh, I suppose that happens. I am doing awfully in this track. As you can tell, I don't like this one. Um, I really don't. It's just not fun, I feel. And there's a lot of sharp turns and you can fall into the water a lot of the times. Can I you recoup? No, I can't recoup this one. Uh, it's okay. You win some, you lose some, as they say. Let me just take a water, uh, sip of water while I can. Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, I just took a sip of water, cleared my throat. All that kind of junk. J jank? Junk, I think. I don't know. Sunset Wilds. I remember this one has a cool track, I think. Co a, a cool soundtrack, I mean. Sorry. I gotta specify with this game, don't I? Because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love- oh, this soundtrack's great. Ah, oh, shit. What am I doing? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't have any particular uh, particular plans of what I'm going to be playing next. Oh, that's right, the booster pads of these are really hard to get. Um, yeah, like I thought, yeah, because it's bumped up a bit. From what I understand, I think you have to jump onto them. Um, what am I doing? Where do you get a star? We got her star as well, that's that's good. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, um, alright, cool. Yeah, unfortunately these are going to have to be, uh, pretty low edited now that I think about it, because I can't cut out too much of the gameplay. Um, unlike something like a Fire Emblem, where I can stop playing for a second and uh, cut it out later. I'm gonna have to be very careful with, uh, well, um, you know, being able to say what I need to say or whatever. Uh, Alright, let's get a let's get a box here. And, uh, yeah, because they bo- oh, there we go. That's that's how you meant to do it, you have to zigzag- oh, I don't know, what, what hit me there? Not entirely sure. That's okay, let's get the way. Okay. Yeah, this one's a bit rough, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the urge for me to clear my throat right now, but I shouldn't because this is. Mm, unless you guys want me to go silent for a sec. Oh, get off me. Yeah, this guy is gonna be on you for a bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. One second. Alright, um, I'm back. Oh, I did not mean to press up. I pressed the brake buttons by accident. Did you know you can only reset- actually, yeah, you're allowed to reset three times, um, of each course with this game. Um, well not three times of each course, you meant to- you can only reset three times per cup. Um, that's a little handicap that they give you. Shit. Oh. Hmm, I, I wonder if I can get the gold cup of, uh, this one or not, because I did pretty horribly with the first two courses. Um, let me just get those speed bumps- oh, I don't- Yeah, this one's, uh... It's a fun one. I, I like- I love the aesthetic of it, but it is very difficult, especially with these shy guys trying to latch onto you. Um, okay. Yeah, wasn't that the whole thing of, like, shy guy isn't actually a Mario character originally or something? Because they used that one obscure Famicom game, um, for Super Mario Bros. 2 or whatever. And then these- the shy guys appeared in that game, and they're like, oh, those are cool designs, and then they kept them or something. I think I heard on like a Did You Know Gaming or something, I forget. Uh, it's one of those videos that you put on in the background while you work on something for, you know, an arduous amount of times. Why does Toad look so squished there? Oh well, well, here we are. How many how many more times are you going to see this screen? <laughs> uh, but luckily we got the first place this time around as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Is there a little infinite symbol under our little plaque? I don't know why I'm... it's a bit strange. Um, but look at how happy he is. He's a very happy boy. Yeah. Rank D though, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Especially with the second and the third. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, there you have it. Let's do the next one. And the thing is, as much as I would like to play um, some of the other modes and, and explore them, uh, this one is kind of lacking in that regard. Um, there's no, like, balloon battle or... I guess Mario Kart DS had, like, um, mission modes and stuff as well. Yeah, this is the track I was talking about before. I actually really- I love this one. The music is really nice as well, but it is very slippery, so you gotta be super careful. Uh, I do like it, but am I good at this track? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We shall see. And the snowman is- oh my god, he pushed me out of the way. Yoshi! It's always Yoshi, isn't it? Yoshi has a vendetta against me, I think. Um, probably because of all the times I've dropped him down in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, right? Like, <laughs> in, in uh, a tough jump. When you just drop him to his doom. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, gee. Oh, that actually worked. I'm surprised. Yeah, jumping in this game is ridiculously useful, and it will save your life. Um, which is a very. Oh, I. Oh no, I actually didn't hit that. I'm surprised. All right, let's get Peach. Peach is doing really good. Uh, in in this recording, I don't I don't know why. In particular, okay. Um, but yeah, because it is slippery, it is a lot easier to uh, uh make turns as well. So. 
yeah, um, that is, uh, yeah, <laughs> not much else I can really say there. Um, I wonder, are these the penguins from Mario 64, maybe? <laughs> uh, that's my guess, at least. And I know there's a very similar stage in Mario Kart Wii as well. Um, I'm surprised that actually hit her. Uh, Wii, okay, no, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Um, panel up, nice stuff. Um, yeah, I probably won't be playing a racing game anytime soon, uh, within these one-shot, uh, one-off videos. I think I'll just call it, like, one-off or something. Um, and I'll make a whole playlist of it, of course, so if you are... Uh, well, okay. If you're watching this at a later date, is what I was gonna say, um, and you wanted to see some me react or play through some, some other Game Boy classics, perhaps, uh, then I'm sure there'll be a playlist in the description down below. Obviously, if you're watching this on release date, then there won't be anything else, but I'm just saying, like, if you discover this somehow later, um, then, uh, yeah, feel free to do that. <laughs> Uh, again, at the end of the day, I'm only doing this for myself and, and enjoying in that regard, but if you guys can come along and uh, enjoy my my commentary on it, and if I can just provide uh, even a little bit of enjoyment in your day, then, uh, you know, my job here is done, so... <laughs> Anywho, we're on Ribbon Road. This one was remade in Mario Kart 8, I think, um, with all the really cool 3D physics and stuff. It was actually really cool. Um, I don't know why I said that twice. You gotta be very careful here, cause uh, so you don't end up in the same spot, and then you can go from being first to like, you know, seventh or something in one shot. So be very careful the side ridges as well. Okay, no, we're good. Present. Uh, um, but yeah, it's a lot more three dimensional in the new remake version of this stage, uh, and that's the the other thing. I haven't really looked into the DLCs of Mario Kart 8, but uh, because I've played, I've played every single Mario Kart. Yeah. Um, it's, it's always nice. I always feel like it's cooler seeing the remade older stages rather than the new stages, personally. Um, at least in my opinion. Although Mario Kart 8 had that really cool dragon one that I like a lot. Um, so there are obviously some really amazing cool hitters within the new games as well. But it is nice seeing something super nostalgic in, uh, you know, 1080p. <laughs> With the uh, oh Jesus, with the most latest graphics. Even though I don't particularly, I'm not a person. I'm not really a gamer. That uh, well, I'm not really a gamer to begin with. Uh, I'm just. I always say this to people. I'm not a gamer. I'm just someone who enjoys games, and I think there genuinely is a difference there. Because um, I don't game. I don't play like online stuff. I don't even play a lot of games. Uh, you know, in my spare time, it's more. I screwed that up. I screwed that up so bad. Okay. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Um, I'll at least try and get second. Um, but, uh, what I was saying was, yeah, I'm not particularly a gamer in that regard. I've never been competitive at all. I'm going to try and use a star, but I don't know if I can recoup. There is quite a lot of track left, but still. Uh, yeah, he's too far. Uh, oh, it's, it's the dreadful Yoshi, of course. It's fucking Yoshi. <laughs> um, okay. We'll throw in a few swears here and there. Apparently, like I said in one of the Fire Emblem videos, apparently, um, the YouTube bot is more harsh on Americans when they swear than British or Australians. So we get that little bit of, you know, um, merits, I suppose, yeah. So, here we are with Yoshi Desert. Um, my sworn enemy Yoshi. It's a Sphinx Yoshi, huh? Oh, interesting. Are you into Egypt? <laughs> that was a strange question, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I say that because my mum is uh, obsessed with Egyptian stuff. She always has been, and uh, the amount of Egyptian exhibits I've been to as a kid just because she wanted to go, yeah. I mean, it's pretty adorable if you think about it, you know. Like, uh, an adult making a kid go to the thing they, they're super into and geeking out is pretty, you know, adorable in that sense. Um, but yeah, you know, I've seen The Mummy. So to be fair, it's a decent movie. <laughs> Honestly, like, it still holds up, I feel. Uh, I think I slipped in the quicksand there, maybe? Uh, again, I'm not particularly knowledgeable on this track, like I said with the whole thing earlier on, where uh, I know the most about the first cup, because I played that a ridiculous amount, because uh, my save data just didn't work, like I said. Um, so I'm not particularly knowledgeable on some of these later ones. But again, like I said, I do have the uh, legitimate Jap- Oh, ja Jesus, okay. Legitimate Japanese version now, so... Uh, I have played every single track. And did you know you can actually unlock the Super Nintendo Mario Kart tracks in this game? Um, 
by... I forget how you do it now. You have to get A rank and everything, maybe? Or something like that. Um, but yeah, those tracks are really difficult. Uh, I won't be covering them in this video, obviously. Okay, we got a nice boost, and all the way to first. God, I want to clear my throat. Uh, one second. Hopefully that wasn't too much silence to you. Um, I would definitely cut that out, obviously. But, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully that wasn't too much of silence to you. Because, uh, you know, especially these days, the, the youngins, they, uh, their attention span's getting smaller and smaller, so... Gotta keep talking, gotta keep it more exciting for everyone. Right, anyways, um... Obviously I'm half joking, but I do like talking, so that's a good- Oh yeah, yeah, jeez, ah, Jesus Christ. The Oasis got me. Oh, I think I messed this up, yeah, it's, it was right- it was right there as well. I don't know if I can unlock the, um, the final cup, uh, with my results here, because this is the second race, right? I mean, I've been talking, so hold on one second. Okay, back to it, well, let's continue. On the third, uh, track, Bowser's Castle 3. How many castles does this man have? I don't know. I do like the blue, though. I feel like this one was remade in 3DS or something, I feel. Uh, I might be very wrong on that. Um, Mario Kart 7 is actually the one modern Mario Kart that I'm not super knowledgeable in. I've played it, I have it actually, it's just I haven't played it enough. Because I feel like it's the forgetful one out of the modern games. Because it's definitely not as good as Mario Kart DS, but, you know, it's still fun, I feel. Um, and the hand glider stuff is pretty good. Um, but again, some of the characters are questionable in that game as well, because like, why do they put Wiggler in? Or like, the Queen Bee from uh, Mario Galaxy? <laughs> Not entirely sure what was up with that, but um, yeah, it is cool, the, the car customization, first time they had that, I believe, um, which was uh, a lot of fun. But uh, Mario Kart 8 is definitely the one I go to with casual friends at least, because uh, that's usually the one that they have uh, when I go to their place or whatever. Um, or unless they have Mario Kart Wii, like one of my best friends. Um, and then, yeah, if that's the case, then it's always Mario Kart Wii. You're approaching me. Yeah, get away from me, Yoshi. You green demon. <laughs> I'm kidding. Half kidding. <laughs> um, okay, let's get a mushroom boost in. I wonder what Kamek's doing there, just cycling around there. Not like cycling, as in like bicycling, I mean like cycling around, you know, like moving around. Oh, that was close. Um, oh, I got whomped on or whatever. That's okay, let's go around. And I do really like the Bowser Castle stages. That actually might have ended better than I expected. Okay, yep. Yeah. Right. And we're gonna go for... Yeah, let's get that demon once again. And we will be on our way. I'm gonna get... Um, Dislike bombed by Yoshi fans, so I should probably stop. <laughs> um, no, um, if you like Yoshi, that's great. Uh, who, who doesn't like Yoshi, right? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Alright, let's get the star. Alright, get out of here. And there we go. Good stuff. But again, was that the third one? Or the fourth map? I don't remember. I do like how quick this game is, you know, it's, it's so... Uh, you know, jump in, and the, the tracks are quick, and... Oh, he's in the lead. Oh shit, okay, that was the end. Okay, that was not good. That was definitely not good. Uh, of course the- alright, you know what, I'm going to, um, you know, what do you call it again? Like, insult him all I want now. <laughs> the absolute green demon has stolen my gold gold cup here, and that's okay. Does that mean I can't unlock the, the fifth cup, I wonder? Because I did want to do it to wrap up this video, but, um, if... If that means I have to do that again, then I might change my plan slightly. Let's, let me just double check. Oh, you do need a gold cup to get this. I will be back. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna cut it, because I know you guys don't want to see this again. So I'll do these again and then come back with a special cup. One second. Oh, oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> I might actually leave that into the video. <laughs> that was a crazy win that I just got to sun. I might as well, I mean, that's caught on camera, right? So, But now, uh, we have done that, so now we can do this special cup. Let's do that right ahead. Let's go right ahead, sorry. I don't know how long this is going to be. I want to cut down all that. Um, hopefully around the 45 minute mark. We're doing Lakeside Park. My fingers are starting to get a little bit sore, not going to lie. Because, um, uh, as I mentioned, this 
key keyboard positioning is, uh, it, it isn't great. I'll put it that way. And I could remap, but if I remap, then I'll forget. Uh, and then I have to remap again with Fire Emblem and stuff, so might as well just keep it as is. That's what. Why was that protruding like that? I don't know. Um, maybe it is like a dinosaur park kind of thing. As you can tell. <laughs> of course. Yoshi, you de- Oh no. Oh, that was so close. That's one of the, the scariest things that can happen in this stage. Um, yeah, you can bounce back to the start, which is so dumb, but yeah, be careful, is all I can say. Well, I haven't seen Donkey Kong until- that was, that was like the first frame he's appeared in. Okay, anyways. Alright, you know, here she. Grab some coins again. Oh, Molten Rock. Alright. Ah, that was a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. We can recover, I think. Yoshi! Go away, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's that little bounce there that I just like. God, Yoshi is a straight up menace, I'm telling you. I don't know what you guys all see in this guy, but I surely don't see anything. Oh. <laughs> Let me keep going here. And. hopefully. Oh, Starman! I don't want. I don't want Starman. Okay. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind Starman, but I'm saying I don't want Luigi with Starman behind me. Um, okay. Ah, fuck! Fuck, I did it! I d ah, I've lost this, I've lost this. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> yeah. So that is how you use the surrender flags. <laughs> um, that is, yeah. You get to re retry up to three times. Very handy, very handy stuff. Oh, I got the start boost, that's good. <sighs> but again, the, oh, this track. Well, to be fair, it doesn't really matter if I get first place or not. I'm gonna end the video off uh, either way at the end of this cup. Um, so I'm not gonna get too competitive over it. Um, but that that hurt a little bit, that uh, whole first to seventh, just like that. Yeah, it's this ledge here. Oh, no, no, actually, no, it's not that one. Uh, it's the one coming up here, I think. It's such a sharp turn as well. So, um, yeah, this game is definitely, definitely one of the harder Mario Kart's I feel. Um, but it's, it's also very impressive for, uh, oh, you have a star as well. Um, it's also very impressive for being the first portable Mario Kart game. I guess there's only four portable Mario Kart games, isn't there? Um, at least natively. Uh, which I guess is uh, half of the Mario Kart games in existence, so that's actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I hate that. I hate it so much. Whoever devel whoever came up with that idea in the development team is absolutely evil. Like, I'm sorry, but... Alright, boost time. Okay, alright. I have a boost. That's not too bad. Again, like I said, you've got to do the little adjustments with the jumps. That's kind of the key little uh, trick in this game, I, I would say. Okay. Okay. Wait, it's here, isn't it? Oh Jesus! Okay. Luigi in the lead here. When should I use this? Is the question. Right towards the end, is it? Good idea. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. That was a tough one. There you have it. See, I'm not bad. I'm not bad at Mario Kart. Um, I wonder which I would be the worst at. Oh, actually, I'm really bad at the first one. Super Mario Kart or whatever. I'm not a huge fan of that. It just, yeah, it's a little bit too jank in today's age. 64 I can somewhat enjoy, but even then I'm not super good at it either. I think uh, Super Circuit's the first entry where I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm a little bit more confident. But anyways. Famous last words, right? Okay. We'll send that back. On the drawbridge, or whatever it's called. Okay. No, oh, it's slippery stage this one. Oh, I forgot they can do that. And they slow you down as well. Ah, Jesus. Get off me, get off me. Get off me. Okay. <laughs> um, alright, I've only got one coin though, so maybe careful is what I was gonna say. One more, and I'm gonna s come to a screeching halt, as I said. Um. Red shells, not exactly what I need. Oh, I needed one of the coins. 
Oh, okay, that was close. Alright, use that shell just in time if you missed what just happened. Yeah, Jesus, I need a coin. There's no coins anywhere. Oh, thank you. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, I'm feeling more refreshed now. That boo stole all of them off of me before, and that's the issue. But to be fair, this one's actually nowhere near as difficult as the previous, which is uh, good to hear. I do love how fast and dynamic the mushroom feels in this one, as opposed to the Mario Kart DS one, which, as much as I love that game, yeah, it's... Oh, why did I use that? Oh, and it pushed me off as well. Oh no. Can I plant that there in, in hopes that it stops someone? Maybe that did actually stop someone. Huh. They hurt. Um... Spurs! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, again, like I said, don't get, don't get competitive, don't get competitive. It's fine. It's okay. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying myself. Okay. That being said, I will take second place though. He looked like a, a chewy gummy there, did you see that? <laughs> the colour? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Yeah. It's a nice night though, even though it is like nearly 4 o'clock, but the rain outside and uh, <laughs> the rain inside. <laughs> I, I bet you're only st like. 3% of the population who watch this would get that joke. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyways, um, no, it's very relaxing. I dig it. Although I've only got uh, zero coins, give me something. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So wait, who won just then? That was Luigi, right? Um, so if he doesn't become first place in these next two races, we'll be good. That being said, where do I use this mushroom boost? That's, now's the perfect time. Or not. Um, that did not help whatsoever. Well, that's life for you, isn't it? Um, oh, is the other side better for that? I don't know. Oh, why, why, why are you like this? Why are you like this, Yoshi? Why are you such a menace to society? Okay, um, alright. Get out of the way. Good. Alright, lap two. That was a really long drag, Jesus. Oh yeah, that happens in this game. I forgot about that. So red shells, they do this uh, they they do this weird homing thing for some bizarre reason. I don't know why. Um where if you send them backwards, I think, or if you drop them somehow, then they'll home to the person that next passes by. Yeah, it's really in a way broken. In fact, a lot of this, like I said before, like a lot of this game is very broken. So uh, I understand why people don't particularly enjoy it, but again, I, I have fond memories, and uh, I am enjoying myself, even though Mecha Koopas are everywhere, and Yoshi's all up in my face, and get, get away, get away, mate, please. Ah, oh, damn it, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, and the star as well. My luck is awful right now. This track is just not for me, I think. Yeah. Oh, and then that gets blocked off, obviously it does. Um, okay. To be fair, I did, th oh. I did think the uh, pits of lava or whatever had the uh, little jumper pads before, so can you please just leave me alone for a second, Yoshi? All you do is give me problems. I genuinely dislike you, and I, and I, and I mean this wholeheartedly. And I'm not saying that because I'm salty at this game. I genuinely dislike you, Yoshi. Okay, um, I think also you need to be at least fourth to advance to the next track. There's a little... it automatically makes... Oh, fuck, fuck, I hit the wall. That would have been so good. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, I'm not redoing this one. It's fine. Yeah, I say don't get competitive and then look at me getting competitive. Huh, so 2 minutes 33. I guess this is one of the super long tracks of the Rainbow Road next. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Especially with these janky Game Boy Advance keyboard controls. Don't know how well I'm gonna do with this one. <sighs> I'll do my best. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, and by the way, see those jump? Uh, or like the whole- you think, oh yeah, there's rails on the side. They're not rails. They'll make you jump off. Um, but also, if you angle it right, you can actually jump and then jump back in, if that makes sense. Also, these little lightning cl- let's see, see what I'm saying? Um, but it is very difficult. Ah, uh, Luigi. Luigi. I've never liked Luigi either. What is it with the green Mario characters that I've disliked? 
I don't... No, don't do that. Don't do that. And, uh, yeah. You can't... Yeah, okay. Yeah, who, who enjoys Rainbow... Uh, well, I enjoy Rainbow Road on some of the other games. Not in this game, though. Um, and, of course, you have Star. Yeah, like, having Star... Fuck, okay. Yeah. This isn't going well. Although I got the little star boost, that's new and nice. Jeez, yep, yeah, that's... yeah, okay. <laughs> this commentary is awful as well, I do apologize. I just, uh, yeah... Ever since this uh, Rainbow Road segment started, I've been uh, bad at talking, basically. Alright, well... Uh, Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, that was close. <laughs> yep, lightning. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Okay. Yoshi, once again. Oh, I forgot about these stars that fall down as well. Yeah. The de the, sorry, the developers really were out for blood, weren't they? Of the poor children, that, the poor Japanese children that played this game when it came out. Oh, Jesus. Me included. Alright, oh, jeez, okay. Uh, did, uh, that, I guess that got lost because it bounced off or something. I suppose if it's fourth, we can still. Oh, jeez, that was close. Uh, oh, okay, third. <laughs> it's better than I expected. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mind you, I have actually first placed uh, every single track on the actual Game Boy cartridge on my. Yeah, just not trying to flex, but I am saying. Um, wait, I only got 19. Oh, huh, okay. Well, there you go. Anyways, at least I came second, so that's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> um, but that has been it for Mario Kart Super Circuit. It was a nice little fun revisit. I enjoyed it a lot. And, uh, yeah. Um, look forward to more one-off videos, um, just like this, coming soon, I suppose. Um, I had a ton of fun commentating it, even though I just got ended up with a ranky. Oh, look at him, he's still happy with a ranky. That's, that's the positive mindset that all of you need to... Um, walk away today with, I think, and uh, I think I need to do the same too. Anywho, I'm going to end this one up here. Hopefully you had a ton of fun watching this, uh, because I had a ton of fun playing it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all with whatever else I do next. Bye-bye. <laughs>